Hi guys, welcome to my Anna Scotch YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing basically my go-to going out makeup. Um, so if I don't know what to do my makeup like, I always go to this style because it's just my favourite going out look basically. Oh god, it looks like I haven't got a top on. I have got a top on by the way guys. <laughs> look a bit naked there. But yeah, um, so yeah I'm going to be doing my favourite going out makeup. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start off actually with doing my eyebrows. I don't know why, I just start off with doing my eyebrows. Oh, I've already moisturised by the way and cleansed my skin. So yeah, I'm just going to start off with doing my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Be Perfect Cosmetics powder, which comes with a nice little angled brush, which is really good. Um, to be honest, I change what I do with my eyebrows quite a lot. Um, I know in my eyebrow tutorial I was using the MAC gel. Um, but I don't know, I just change it up a bit at the moment. So I'm going to be using this powder. Um, I quite like the powder at the moment because um, it's a bit more natural and it's good for getting little hair strokes. It comes with this brush, which is great. Really easy. So I'm just going to dab a little bit and just do little brush strokes. It doesn't come out heavy, which I really like. It's quite natural. Just doing little strokes. You can literally do it in like 60 seconds, it's so easy. So that's my eyebrows done with the Be Perfect. It's really nice. That's my go-to eyebrow product at the moment. It's really, really nice. And then I'm gonna go in with priming my skin. So I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani primer. It's new actually. Oh my god. Guys, if you haven't tried it, you need to get down to the Armani counter and just get a little sample of it. Um, so it's good because it's got SPF 40 in it. So it protects us from the sun and obviously the UV. The UVA and UVB, yeah. So the UVA is the aging one. So this protects you from that as well because we don't want to get wrinkles. And also, I love my dewy skin and my dewy finish. This gives a really nice um, dewy effect. I'm just gonna rub that in all over. By the way, I've got a cold, guys, so sorry I sound really snotty. Wind tough for you. Actually, I'm just gonna clip my hair back. Yeah, so just gonna put the primer all around the face like a moisturiser. Then I'm gonna go in with the foundation. As you all know, if you watched my everyday makeup tutorial, I love the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which is what I'm gonna use. By the way, everyone asks me as well what shade I use. I use shade eight, which is quite dark, but it's just a really nice golden color. And no one wants to look pale, so just make sure if you get a darker color, just blend it into your neck. And then apply all over. Blending it into my neck because no one wants them foundation lines. Yep, so I've just put one layer on because I don't like, personally, I don't like the skin to look too, like the base to be too full on because obviously we're going to add a highlight, contouring, powder, etc. So I just keep it to one layer. Cool, so that's the foundation done. And then I'm gonna go in with my concealer and highlighter. So like in my everyday makeup tutorial, I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Custard. Um, it's amazing for concealing and I get a bit of a lighter color because I like it to be more highlighted under the eyes. I'm just gonna apply like so. Okay, so 
this is the bit where I highlight. So I do under my eyes, a little bit in the center of the forehead, down the nose, a little bit above the lip, on the cupid's bow, and then a bit on the chin. With my beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend it in. Just need to wet it a little bit. It's best to use them damp, so I'm just gonna spray a bit of MAC Fix Plus. Just dampen it. And then blend. With beauty blenders, make sure you dab and you don't dab. Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> make sure you dab and don't like wipe it because then you're just getting rid of the product. So I'm going to use the dark shade from Contour Cosmetics just to um, contour around my forehead and a bit on my cheekbones. I'm going to use the Spectrum. CO2 brush to contour, really good. And then I'm going to use this colour. Dab a tiny bit, you don't need a lot. And then just around the forehead. Don't worry if it's not even because obviously we're going to blend it all in after. A little bit on the chin. But to be honest, I don't like to contour too much because my face is already quite like, like little down here. Like I've got a little chin and stuff so I don't want to contour it anymore because then I'll just be invisible. So I like to focus more around the forehead and just a bit on the cheekbones. Blend it in. And then once that's done, I'm going to go in and set it with a bronzing powder because if not, it'll just wipe off with a cream. In the daytime, I just use a powder, but because it's a nighttime, I like it to be a little bit more darker. So I'm going to use the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. Comes with a little brush as well, which is really good for contouring with because it's straight. So just going to go in. I'm just gonna set a little bit under the eyes. I don't like putting loads of powder on, like some people put a setting powder all over the face, which is fine, but I like quite dewy, natural skin, so um, I'm only gonna set it in places where I need it to be set. So I'm just gonna set under the eyes using the Laura Mercier one. It's the Secret Brightening Powder. It's really nice. It's not too much of a thick powder because sometimes with thicker powders, on my skin anyway, um, it can crease and get into the lines. So this is just like a light powder. It just literally sets your concealer and you're done. So just gonna use the Spectrum CO7 brush. It's a really nice brush to use with, with it. Just only need the tiniest bit. And then just apply it under the eye. Tap, tap all the remaining excess off because you don't need loads, you only need the tiniest bit. At the moment, I'm absolutely like in love with the Kylie Jenner palette, eyeshadow palette. I love it so much. I really like, because I have blue eyes, I like to use warm colours because obviously it makes your eyes look more blue. And this is like a warm palette, so I'm like obsessing over it at the moment. I'm going to use the Spectrum A07 brush just to put a colour all over the lid. I'm going to go for this colour here. It's like pinky peachy shimmery. It's just, oh my god, it's to die for. So I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I've literally just put the colour all over the lid and I'm going to bring a tiny bit, tiny bit of it underneath as well. With eyeshadows, even if I'm going out, I don't like to put like 
10 colours on my eyelid. I like to keep it to like two or three. Um, just because even when I'm going out, unless it's like a special occasion or I'm getting my makeup done, I still try to keep it more on the natural side, if that makes sense. Spectrum B06 brush. This is a blending brush. And I'm going to use this colour here just to put in the crease. Just put that nice warm brown colour just softly in the crease. Then I'm going to go in with the Spectrum A12 and just get this slightly darker colour there. Just put a little bit more in the crease and then bring it underneath just to make it a bit more intense because it's night time. And then I want to use Spectrum A13 brush just to bring it underneath. I'm going to put false eyelashes on as well because I'm obsessing over these eyelashes at the moment. They're the Huda Beauty Mint Collection, which is her newer collection, and I'm going to use the Naomi ones. I've actually been using them in like all my photos recently and I've had quite a lot of people asking what lashes they are and it's them ones, so I'm going to put them on now. I use the Duo Glue um, to put my eyelashes on with because it's the best glue. It honestly lasts all night. I'm just going to use the bottom of a brush just to put the glue on the lash. So that's both of them on. And then I'm just going to go in with a mascara. I'm going to use the Be Perfect mascara. This one actually, I don't know if you've heard about it, but it comes with, the first one is the Enhancement Fibres. Um, so basically, when you put this on first, the lengthening gel, you put this on after, and it's like little fibres that make your eyelashes look longer. Like it's crazy, I don't know how it works, but it's amazing. I'm not going to use the um, Enhancement Fibres today because I've got false lashes on but what you would normally do is put the lengthening gel mascara on put the enhancement fibers on after and then put another coat of this on honestly it's amazing it makes it's like little fibers attached to your lashes and it makes them look like 10 times longer it's unbelievable this is from the same company as the eyebrow powder I use it's called be perfect but today I'm just going to use the lengthening gel mascara Then I'm going to go back to the skin, I'm going to put a bit of blush on, I'm going to use the MAC Gingerly one, my favourite, because it's not too pinky, it's not too peachy, it's just like in the middle, it's a really nice colour. I'm going to use the Spectrum, what one is it, Spectrum AO5 brush to put my blush on. And then I'm going to go in with my highlighter. I have about, I'm not even joking, I probably have about 20 different highlighters, but my favourite one at the moment is the Becca Cosmetics one. It's the Champagne Pop. Um, it was, I think it was with Jaclyn Hill. Yeah, it was with Jaclyn Hill. It's from Becca Cosmetics. Gorgeous colour. And also a little tip as well. With your brush, when you apply a powder highlighter, get something like a Max Fix Plus. Just spray your brush so it's slightly damp and then use the damp brush to put it on. It just makes it look more like skin and it makes it look less powdery. Um, and it just goes into the skin nicer and it actually sticks to the skin more, if that makes sense. So do that at home if you don't already know about it. So literally just highlighting the cheekbones, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow and chin. 
And then I'm going to go in with a black pencil. It's from MAC and it's called Feline. I'm going to put that in the waterline. I'm also going to put um, the highlighter in the inner corner of the eyes. And then I'm going to use this liquid lipstick. It's Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. It's like my favourite nude at the moment. It's a matte finish, so you just got to wait about 10 seconds for it to dry and get matte. So it's got matte, but I want a little bit of a gloss look. I'm going to use the MAC Lip Gloss in shade Lust. I'm going to use the setting spray, Urban Decay setting spray. And that is me done. So this is my go-to going out makeup. I'm going to list all the products down below. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe. Mwah.